Hello and welcome to our discussion on cost and management accounting. We'll continue our discussion on the process costing and within process costing our focus is to treat the closing and opening work in progress and we saw that whenever there is work in progress at any process whether process A or B or C there is a need to apply or use the concept of equivalent production or equivalent units and equivalent production is a derived number is a notional number for each element of cost and is calculated by multiplying the degree of completion with the actual output and whenever there is a equivalent units or work in progress we find the equivalent output determine the cost per unit assign the cost then do the process costing but there is a decision or a possibility of making the choice with respect to opening and closing work in progress to use either average costing method or first in first out. In this example we will try to focus on FIFO method. So let us take an example. We will continue with the example uh, which where we did by using the weighted average. In By doing that in weighted average we got the cost per unit to be 1300 and let us see what happens in case of the FIFO. So the information given is opening WIP 225. The material is 100% complete and the conversion cost is 60% complete and the cost to that respectively is 180,000 and 81,000. Input introduced 275, finished goods 400 and closing work in progress 100 units with a degree of completion of 100% with respect to material and 50% with respect to the conversion cost. If we use the process costing without EU, we already saw that you just include the uh, uh, put all transfer all the expenses the opening is 180 plus 180 plus 81 the material cost 198 and the conversion cost of this period is 163 and the total cost is equal to 622 and we transfer that finished goods at 1245 and work in progress stays at 1245. In other words, we apportion this entire 622,800 over 1246, ignoring or not recognizing the equivalent production. But now let us use the degree of freedom information and find the find the equivalent output in case of fifo we assume that the opening work in progress is worked is converted into finished product first then the new raw material is used so therefore when we calculate the equivalent production we classify this 400 into 225 and 175 respectively in other words in case of process costing with FIFO method we assume this finished goods consist of 425 uh, for 225 which is the opening stock and then 175 which is the current production 
which was not the case in case of the weighted average. In this case, we assume that entire production will go through in the, um, in the current year and then the expenses are averaged out. That's the big difference between or rather most important difference between FIFO and the weighted average. So with respect to this opening work in progress, in this period I don't have to spend anything on material because it is already spent so no degree of completion with respect to the material in this time period. However, with respect to the conversion cost, because 60% has been done in the previous period, in this period I have to do 40%, so therefore equivalent production will be 225 into 40%. The balance 175 will be considered to be 100% complete fully in this time period only. And the closing work in progress is 100% complete with respect to material and 50% complete with respect to the uh, conversion cost. So therefore, our uh, Mm, equivalent units is 275 and 315 with respect to material and conversion cost respectively. But the most important thing to recap or to repeat that we assume that the material is produced is partly from the previous time period first and then from the current new input. Now with this information we will now calculate the cost, the statement of cost. The statement of cost will find, enable us to find the, the cost per unit. The expenses incurred in the current period are charged over the equivalent production of the current period. So therefore, unlike the previous one, in the previous, in case of the average, we assume that the current material cost and the previous cost are averaged over the five the equivalent production. In this case, in FIFO, we assume that the current cost is spread over the units converted in the current period. So we trace the cost with the level of completion in the current tier only. So the statement of cost that money spent in the current year is 1240 per unit. Now that should lead us to find the assignment or the determination of the cost of finished goods and the work in progress. So the finished goods 400 consists of the goods from the previous time period and goods from the current time period. So 400 consists of 225 plus 175, so 400. So 225, on this 225, the cost is partly incurred in the previous time period and partly incurred in the current time period. So we can see that the cost of material is 180 plus the cost incurred in the current period but with respect to material there is no cost incurred in the current period so the entire cost of material is from the previous time period only. However, with respect to the conversion cost we can see that it is 81,000 incurred in the previous time period plus the expenses incurred in the current time period. So
so that is 127. So the cost of converting by the end of this time period, cost of converting 225 is, is 307,800. Besides that, we also have 175 units, which is fully completed in the current period only. So 175 into 1240. And the cost of the current closing progress, work in progress, is 100 into the cost of material per unit and, and 50 into cost of conversion of the current period. So we can see that the cost of finished goods is 528, 524.800, which consists of the cost of finished goods as well as the cost of opening work in progress plus the cost of the current finished goods. And the closing work in progress cost is 98,000. 98,000. So the total cost incurred, which is same as the, you know, in all other situations, that is the money spent is 628,000. How will the uh, process cost be affected? The process cost with respect to input, no difference, but with respect to the output, we can see the cost of finished goods is 520. 800 the cost of the work in progress is 98,000 so therefore in case of fee 4 we try to maintain the identity of the opening work in progress and then convert the opening work in progress into finished goods first and then take up new raw material to be converted into the finished goods whereas in case of the weighted average we just assume that the entire thing goes to the process in the current period and expenses of the previous and the current are charged over the equivalent production so let us compare the final output of all these three situations and three different methods without the without the E the, the equivalent unit application, the cost per unit is 1,246, okay, 1,245.6 and with equivalent production application, the cost by using the average cost is 1,300 and by using FIFO is 1,240. So we can see that the, the process of cost accumulation will decide the amount of the, the per unit cost. But an important and relevant question is which one is the accurate cost? Is there anything called accurate cost? The answer to a large extent depends on the purpose and the the reason for which we determine the cost. However, an accurate cost is one which tries to capture the business dynamics. So if we assume that the business dynamics are captured properly by fee 4, then maybe 1240 is the accurate cost. But if it is not necessary to maintain the identity of the opening work in progress, then then the average cost will become the accurate costing. So this question always remains in cost management. Is anything called accurate cost? So one liner answer for that is costing is said to be accurate if it can reflect the complexity of the business processes. Thank you very much.